Welcome back to another video. We're here in Lisbon, Portugal today. We've been here for almost a week already, so I think we've got a good idea of the layout of the city. We've had a chance to try many food spots already, so we're gonna take you around to our favorite ones today. We're gonna take you to our best Portuguese tart place, our best chicken spot, our best cheap eats, and also the best coffee spot, which we're gonna go to right now. Sorry, there's a car passing. Let's go. spot of the day is Copenhagen Coffee Lab and Bakery. It is located on Sao Paulo, really close to the Pink Street, so in a super central area. It's our favorite coffee that we've tried so far in Lisbon, so let's check it out. up our coffee it was absolutely delicious Copenhagen actually has seven locations around Lisbon and they have many other ones around Europe so it is a small chain they roast their beans in Copenhagen and then distribute them to their coffee shops all around Europe um, it is by far the best coffee that we have found in Lisbon so far we have tried a bunch of third wave and non third wave shops and we would definitely recommend this one on Sao Paulo Street definitely get the cardamom buns and the cinnamon buns super authentic this is coming from Yas who spent a lot of time in Sweden and Copenhagen um, during her student exchange so those will be our go-to's overall if you like milk based coffee this would be the spot to try so now that coffee's out of the way we're gonna go try and find some Portuguese roast chicken we're gonna head to one of the classic spots here in Lisbon as soon as we finish climbing this excessively large hill It's time for lunch. We just made it to our next spot, which is for chicken. It's called churrasqueira. <laughs> churrasqueira. Five minutes later. Churrasqueira de paz. We walked about 15 minutes to get here. We took the little alleyways in the Sao Bento neighborhood and it's really worth a walk because it's just so beautiful, super peaceful on this little Sunday morning. So time for chicken now. We'll let you know how it goes. or just eat it as it is. We decided to eat it as it is and it was absolutely delicious. A good side dish is a nice little tumal, which is a traditional Portuguese soft drink. It's a bit less sweet than the soft drinks we're used to back home, so like Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, things of that nature. Um, I really liked it. I'm used to getting it at home because my best friend's Portuguese and this is his favorite drink. Yes, it was her first time trying it. She liked it as well. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna take the rest of the chicken home, have it later, and walk down to try and grab some Portuguese tarts and another so the next stop is going to be the timeout market. We're going to go try and find some Portuguese tarts and a little cafe on the side because the traditional way to take coffee here in Portugal is to just get a little espresso and on the side to have a pastel, which is um, a Portuguese tart. If you're getting many, it's pastéis. That's my only Portuguese that I've learned so far. If you just walk down the Rua de Paz, which is where the chicken place was, you get to Rua dos Poias de Chaubento. And it's a really great place to take a photo of the tram because it's a super narrow street with no cars parked on either side. Here's the tram coming. So we'll, show you what, car? We'll, we'll show you what we mean. No, that's a tram. So it comes down this street here, as you can see. That's the tourist tram actually, it's the red one. So both the 28 and the tourist tram pass here, so the yellow one and the red one. We're heading down to get some Portuguese tarts now. So we got three 
Ashtesh from Mantegaria here in the Time Out Market. We really like this spot because um, you can see the guys working in the kitchen, then making the tarts. We can also sit outside on the terrace. You can order or also order them from inside the market, but I prefer ordering them from the little takeout counter outside. So we got them with a little bit of canela, which is cinnamon. You can also get sugar on top of them, but I prefer them, I think we all prefer them with just cinnamon um, and no, no extra sugar because they're already quite sweet. So that's it, we're gonna enjoy this. You should also grab a little espresso while you're here because that's the traditional way to have coffee in Portugal is to have your little pastel with a little espresso. And all is good when it's so beautiful outside. What else can we say? Alright guys, good morning. Welcome back to Lisbon. This is day two. We actually started filming yesterday, but that was a Sunday and on Sundays in Lisbon a lot of things are closed. So we're going to continue on today. We're going to show you three or four more places. The first one is going to be Heim Cafe, which is right behind me. This is our number one spot um, that we recommend for brunch and just pretty much our number one spot in general since we've been here in Lisbon. We've been back three or four times already and the prices we find are very, very reasonable. Uh, we also love the area. This is actually five minutes from where we're staying in the Santos neighborhood um, of Lisbon. It's very residential, it doesn't feel too touristy, so we love everything about this place. So let's go have some brunch. So I got the brunch plate, which is a toast with scrambled eggs, avocado, salad, and it also comes with a second plate, which is pancakes with fruits and yogurt and caramel. Sam got the bacon pan, which is we, this is our fourth time here in a week, so we just keep getting the same thing over and over again because it's really good. Everything is delicious, highly recommend. Alonso, it's one of the most famous spots to get bifanas here in Portugal. If you don't know what it is, it's basically just a pork sandwich um, with a lightly toasted bun, which you eat with some mustard. They are different in the north than in the south, but here um, they are basically hit the pork with a mallet and then just season it with garlic and some spices, and then you eat it with some simple sauce, and it's absolutely delicious. It costs between two and four euros, depending where you get it in the city. Here it's about 250, I believe, if I'm if I'm correct. We'll go check inside. So let's go get some bifanas. <laughs> Spicy sauce and the honey mustard sauce. I don't know if it's honey mustard, but it's a bit sweet. And the meat is so so juicy and tender. Highly, highly, highly recommend for a great quick lunch while you're walking around Lisbon. It's amazing. Gelato. We actually found this place on Somebody Feeds Bill, which is one of our favorite shows that we watch on Netflix, and we couldn't wait to try it. So here we are. It's called Nanarella. It's Nanarella. It's in the Sao Bento neighborhood, which in the past few days we've come to really enjoy. and We've spent a lot of time here just walking around. We're super close to the chicken place we were at yesterday. It's like a five minute walk from here up that hill. So let's go try some gelato right now. Raspberry, hazelnut, and tiramisu. All 
All right, so welcome to the terrace of our Airbnb. We're just enjoying the view of the sunset with a little glass of Portuguese wine. We're going to be driving down south tomorrow to the beaches um, on the southern coast, coast of Portugal. So if you guys want more information, make sure you stay tuned um, to our next video for information about how to rent the van and how our little week of van life is gonna go down south next week. Um, if you do have any comments about the places we visited in Lisbon, make sure to leave them down below. We're gonna be coming back here for a few days at the end of our trip, so we'd love some extra recommendations if you guys have any and that's about it cheers